the host and managing editor of WNYC's The United States of Anxiety, Kai Wright, and president of Color of Change, Rashad Robinson. We know the huge role some of some of the Hollywood stars of the past, Black Hollywood, Harry Belafonte, Sidney Poitier, played in the civil rights movement. Talk about that a little bit, like what those what role those people played in the civil rights movement, and who's playing that role now? Yeah, when I think about a uh, uh, Harry Belafonte. Uh, Ozzie Davis and Ruby D and Sidney Poitier, I oftentimes think about the deep respect they had with building up infrastructure, the, the role that they had di directly with the activists on the ground, the folks who were leading organizations, building up and recognizing their role in the ecosystem of, of being able to help advance and power um, change by supporting folks like Dr. King, supporting uh, SNCC, supporting the organizations that financial translating, yes, translating, you know, the presence and the visibility of these moments into the actual power that was needed. And, you know, there are so many, I think, uh, current um, activists, you know, when we talk about the Change Hollywood effort, that effort would not have gotten off the ground without a deep collaboration with Michael B. Jordan um, and Outlier Productions, who was our partner as we launched it. I think about so much of the work we've done in Hollywood, um, being in deep partnership with folks like Ava DuVernay. Um, I think about some of our early work in writers rooms being sort of brought in um, by uh, folks like Mara Brackett-Keo. Um, I think about sort of the ongoing way that activists like Kerry Washington, activist actors like Kerry Washington and Tracy Ellis Ross and um, Kendrick Sampson and so many others have been able to not just support um, us at Color of Change, but so many of the other leading movement organizations and being able to help us reach more people using their narrative infrastructure to help um, elevate our demands and bring more people in. I think about the work we've done you know, with folks like Common and others. And all of that, I think, is incredibly important um, to sort of recognizing the deep role that sort of cultural advocates have in helping people see the world and seeing what needs to be done and the role that activists have in helping to build the strategies and the advocacy and the efforts to power that type of change. It's funny because I think the popular conversation, I don't know, for some people, the popular conversation is like, oh, we don't have the kind of activism amongst Black celebrities and Black leaders that we used to have uh, you know, and that there's this nostalgia for it, but even as, and, and I admit, I, you know, I'm, I'm guilty a little of that, that thinking myself, but even just hearing you tick through those names and thinking about it, it's actually quite a robust moment. We have to build the infrastructure, build the platforms that allow people to be part of these efforts, and then also give people the pathways to be powerful on these issues. And part of what we've tried to do with Change Hollywood is not just say that the industry has to change, but to actually put forward sort of a five clear demands and under those actually hold the industry accountable. And so what we've done is we've, um, you know, pushed, um, you know, studios and we've pushed um, agencies and we've pushed those inside of Hollywood to actually commit to these roadmaps, to this roadmap of change. And this roadmap actually gives folks who say Black Lives Matter a clear pathway to start actually moving towards making that a reality. Because far too often we get a lot of words. And what our goal at Color of Change is to constantly move people from words to action, to move people beyond statements into actually doing something that's real and clear, and then to put the mechanisms in place to evaluate it. Otherwise, it's all talk and it doesn't actually get us anywhere. And, you know, part of, I think, how the world will look 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now is not just sort of our hopes and dreams, because that wasn't what we should take away from the 60s and the 70s and civil rights uh, movement. What we should take away was the deep level of work and strategy and effort in making those dreams, in making that vision, in making those demands actually possible, in translating what we talk about at Color of Change as presence and visibility um, into power. And power is the ability to change the rules. And sometimes those are the written rules of policy, and sometimes those are the unwritten rules of culture. But always the work to change the rules gets us to a place where we can look back and see what we've actually accomplished. Mm -hmm.